So this start file should be now called completed file and you have your consolidated expenses where it's adding all of the payroll for Lady Lobster, Henry Haddock, and Sharon Shrimp. So that should be saved. So what we as one, so there's four worksheets in this one workbook. Now what we'd like to do is actually save each of these worksheets individually as a workbook. So if you right click on Lady Lobster, you'll choose move or copy, select to book, you want a new book, make sure you choose create a copy and OK. So it's going to keep it here, but it's going to move it to its own workbook. And then go ahead and save this and name it Lady Lobster. And you can keep it open. On the bottom, go down back to Excel, go back to your completed file, do the same thing for Henry Haddock, right click, move or copy, make sure you could move it to Lady Lobster, but we want it its own book, and then create a copy, okay, so it's by itself now, and it's still on the other one, save as, just put it in, this is Henry Haddock, And then go back to Excel on the bottom, choose the completed one, and share and shrimp, right click, move a copy. Again, new book, create a copy, OK. It's all by itself, save it. Share and shrimp. So now we'll go back to the consolidated one. So this one is um, finished, we're done with it. And when we were looking for the totals on consolidated expenses, where you were adding Lady Lobster payroll, Henry and Sharon, you were all doing it from the same workbook. So the next part of this assignment is how do you get to add totals from not the same workbook, different workbooks. So close out of here. And you should have open right now the Lady Lobster, Henry Haddock, and Sharon Trim. And then also open in the start file, there are actually two files. So we want to open up, this is a file all by itself, 2020 consolidated. And what you want to do is pull from the other worksheets, but they're not part of this um, workbook. So the first thing you can do if you'd like is click view and choose arrange all and then we'll do it in vertical and OK and it just shows all of the workbooks that you currently have open. So I'll maximize the um, consolidated 2020 consolidated and I want to create a formula but they're on separate workbooks and not part of this so you can't just select them all. So what we'll do is we'll click um, formulas choose auto sum. And then we have to open up the Lady Lobster. So click View, go to Switch Windows, and choose Lady Lobster. And then click the first amount, B5, for payroll. And you'll notice in the formula that it has um, the, work the workbook and the worksheet and the cell. So we can minimize here. And then up in the formula bar, you want to press plus and then go back to switch window, Henry Haddock, again, B5, and then minimize, make sure you put the plus sign, and one more, Sharon Shrimp, B5, minimize. Now, before you press um, enter here, what you need to do in the formula bar is get rid of all So in the formula bar, you want to get rid of all of the dollar signs because dollar signs are absolute value and you don't want absolute value. So you want to get rid of all the dollar signs because what you want to do is you want it to add down. So it'll add B5, B6, and so forth. So go ahead and press Enter and then you can go ahead and fill handle. So you've pulled the totals from the different workbooks rather than on this workbook as worksheets. So it's just two different ways to do it. And that is a complete save and submit. Thank you.